So, before you weebs go crazy at the title, yes, there was a real life yandere. Good morning, pizza people. It's time Pizza back today with another video. And as you guys can see, today we're going to be covering the case of the real life Yandere, aka Yuka Takoka. Now, I know obviously, like, this is a hella, hella serious situation, but like, judging is the fact that, like, nobody passed, and I feel like, as of, like, with the way the internet treated it, that's what I'm gonna be more so making fun of than the actual situation that happened at hand. And I'm honestly glad that everybody that was involved in the situation turned out all right. I just thought it would be interesting to go back and recover this case. So, any light jokes or anything I throw in, please don't take it as me being insensitive it's just me covering a case now without further ado right i'm just gonna be referring to her as yuka for the rest of the video and let's get into like what the actual situation was at hand now the situation with yuka right was from my understanding was like she was dating this dude and the dude and her were like in this hella hella like toxic sort of relationship and then one day after the dude came home from work or whatever right like she saw his phone like he was getting text messages and there was pictures of him with another shawty and you know how it goes with relationships or whatever when girls see that they go nuts okay i get it i'm a pizza i really probably don't know about relationships like that but for the sake of the story let's say i do you know and so when she saw the pictures of him with like this other shawty she just began to tweak bro like i mean she just completely lost it she was like i'm gonna make him be with me forever if i can't have him then no one can have him sort of be and let me put out there pizza people never be like this being a yandere is not cool okay because shortly after she saw these texts she thought it would be cool to go and like grab a kitchen knife and like and so a lot of things happened that i can't say due to me not wanting to get demonetized because i literally just got monetization i'm not trying to lose it okay like but yeah she just proceeded to get, grab a kitchen knife and do what she wanted to do to the dude and fortunately, the dude survived and he was able to like make it to the hospital with a 20% survival rate and make it out alive. But what happened like right after he got stabbed was like the police showed up. There were like cops everywhere. You know, with cops showing up, there's gonna be a lot of press, right? So with the dude, like before he could get to the hospital and before the whole scene could get cleared out, there were a lot of pictures of Yuka taken of her sitting next to her boyfriend's like body that was in a very extreme and critical condition. And you see on these photos that I'm putting up the screen, right? Like, I'm, I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. She looks like an anime character sitting right there, right? And like, I guess the internet, they saw her, they found her attractive, and they completely lost it, okay? Like, I'm not gonna lie. Out of all the extreme cases of the internet that I've seen, like, go way, way too far, bro, this is, is, like, literally one of them, right? Because as you see the images I'm putting on the screen, right? Like right after they saw this image of her sitting next to her boyfriend's body and like them finding her attractive or whatever the internet literally they literally lost their minds and they began making fan art of her like she became a celebrity overnight be because she attempted murder like how does that sound bro like i get it the dude cheats on you and you're like your first case scenario is i hate him i'm gonna i want to kill him but you don't actually do it you never do it bro and i for some reason she decided that it was gonna be okay to do which like i'm a, i'm putting it out there i don't agree with any of these actions i don't find that cute none of that like yandere bs was ever like I, it's, it was never interesting to me like that bro because i don't want a shorty to kill me if i get in an argument with her or like if we're beefing or something like that bro i don't want to go out like that that's going out sad but with all of that out of the way right with my personal feelings aside right i really feel like uh with cases like this, if you have these sort of feelings, like, if you look even deeper into the case, like, with, like, interviews and motives that she gave to the police on why she did it, she said, like, after I stabbed him, he said he liked me, and, like, like, I'm putting it on the screen right here, she said, since I loved him so much, I just couldn't help it, like, and it just got darker and darker from there. She was saying things such as, I thought I would kill him because I thought that's how I could be with him. I thought like that expression such as, I like you and I would like to be with you would become a reality if we both die. And 
I'm gonna be honest, pizza people. Like, I don't see why any of the internet or anime Twitter at all even like decided to kind of like hype and boost this girl up for doing this bro because honestly this situation is like it is a uh, kind of dangerous to like just watch and see bro because there are some serious mental health issues going on here bro and like honestly like as anime aside like i know i'm an anime youtuber but let, let's put that aside for a second okay like none of that is cute that whole yandere way of thinking you need to get mental health bro like young or old bro you should not like make anybody feel entitled to you bro and like this is kind of like the same sort of mindset that this girl has she i can get you love somebody so much but you can't love anybody that much to the point you need mental health like it, it's it's just kind of not right like i get it a lot of you weaves probably were looking at this case and we're like man i want a girl just like that i want to i want a yandere i want a real life anime girl like but like i assure you bro none of that you don't want that because if you're actually in that situation you're probably gonna fold and you're gonna hate it like there's a reason like a lot of these anime characters that you see that actually have a yandere like they're terrified of these girls it's because if someone was actually in that situation you would be crapping yourself bro like these yandere girls are not worth the risk they're not worth the trouble and if you look at like more images that i'm putting up of the screen like i'm putting up pictures of the dude and the girl and you can see like when she's in the back of that police car bro she's literally flashing a smile after she did it because she just wanted to like I, I don't know what she wanted out of this i guess she wanted to be with him forever is like the motive said but i feel like it's even something deeper than that bro but like it's just the fact that she did it you know like but like at least the situation is over and like the dude like got to live you know because if he died that would have been an even worse situation considering the fact that the internet glorified like her actions and made it seem like she was too cute to be a killer like it it wasn't okay but in regards to like what happened like after the situation took place or whatever i honestly think it's kind of surprising because the victim right i don't have his name but here's an image of him on the screen apparently he he wasn't tweaking about the fact that his girl or ex-girlfriend now attempted to stab him like he kind of just said hey i don't really hold a grudge and i i think it's good that he survived like i guess he's more happy with the fact that he lived and the fact that like she stabbed him like i guess all of that ha happiness kind of like overwhelms the fact that he almost was murdered <laughs> and the internet was applauding the girl who committed the crime whether in fact they knew he was alive or not <laughs> But I'll be honest, like, even, like, post this whole situation, that guy is a lot better than me, right? Because, honestly, I would've... <laughs> man, the things I would've said if I was in that situation would not have been, oh, I, I don't hold a grudge, I just got a little bit thin in the hospital. Like, no, <laughs> bro, I would've been pressed. I would've been angry pizza people. Like, I guess it helps with the fact that, like, with him getting stabbed and him surviving the whole incident, he made, like way more money than he did ever since he became a host in the first place so i guess he got like a little bit of clout off of it too but still she stabbed you and that is something that is kind of unforgivable and you know what now that i'm even reading like even deeper into this phoenix luna interview that's the guy by the way i discovered his name while i was editing this but it apparently like due to him getting stabbed when he was in the hospital like he met his older brother and older sister for the first time in five years and Honestly, that is a miracle, but it still doesn't change the fact that she stabbed them pizza people. Like, I, this, despite all the good that came out of this situation, there was a lot of bad, right? Like, with the internet and anime, like, anime Twitter just completely glorifying this girl and making her seem out to be this kind of, like, anime character, bro. Like, this isn't a show we can watch and review on the internet. This is, is real life, and it's kind of scary, like, to think, like, man, if I got caught lacking they're probably gonna draw fan art of the person that got me and that is a terrifying thing to think about pizza people but uh overall i think the only thing that can really be learned from this is uh get mental help don't glorify attempted murderers even if you think they're attractive because either way they're just as dangerous and they could get you next but uh i don't really have too much else to say about this situation this has been yuka tanaka the uh real life yandere one year later and my name is time pizza and i will see you pizza people later peace